In this video, let us look into another concept related to an ellipse. It's called as an eccentricity of an ellipse. So let's see what an eccentricity of an ellipse is. All right, here we are. I've just shown you an uh, ellipse here. The green curve is an ellipse. I've only uh, labeled the ones that is going to be useful for the concept here, which is eccentricity. So I've just um, chosen to ignore the other stuff for now. So let us uh, define eccentricity of an ellipse now. All right, here is the definition uh, which says the eccentricity of an ellipse is the ratio of the distances from the center of an ellipse to one of the foci and to one of the vertices of the ellipse. And eccentricity is denoted by the letter E, small e, and E equals C by A. So this is the definition. What this definition says is that it says that eccentricity is nothing but the ratio between or it is a ratio of the distance between the center and uh, one of the focus to one of the vertices and the center, which is nothing but it is a ratio of the distance of one of the focus or rather it is a ratio of C to A. That's all it is. C by A is called as an eccentricity of an ellipse. So C is nothing but the distance of one of the focus from the center and A is nothing but the semi-major axis, the length of the sem semi-major axis. So it is the ratio of C to A and the ratio of C to A is called as the eccentricity of an ellipse. All right, so that ends this quick little video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos um, based on more concepts of an ellipse.